Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Wanted to do a quick video showing off some movies I got recently and a video game. So uh, the game will be the first item I show. It is Life is Strange Before the Storm. The first game was really fun. It was a um, like sort of coming-of-age tale with some strange twists and some Twin Peaks influence with pretty much... The main point of the game was a lot of conversations and, like, little puzzles, sort of, you had to solve. But uh, it was a slow game, but it was really good. Uh, this one I haven't played yet. This is a prequel to Life is Strange. And they're also making a sequel, I believe, as well. The The reason I got this was GameStop was doing buy two, get one free on used games. But right after, I had picked up already Victor Vran, which I showed in a previous video, and Mutant League Football. On the Xbox One. So I went back with my receipt and I said, you guys started a buy two, get one free today. I bought a game two days ago or two day, two games two days ago. Can I please get the free game? So I gave them the games, they returned them, rebought them, and then gave me the, you know, buy two, get one. So I picked this because I enjoyed the first game a lot. Um, I think the games sort of get a little SJW-ish and, and sort of pander and have slight politics in them now, so I'm kind of worried about playing this, but I'll see how it is. Hopefully it's good. And um, I hear Mortal Kombat 11 did some stupid stuff too, but that's a that's a whole different topic. So here are the movies I purchased. Um, let's start with this one. So I, uh, I had a coupon on eBay, so I went on my account and uh, eBay was giving, I want to say it was $3 off, and someone was selling the Blu-ray of Terry Gilliam's Tideland, which I own on DVD, but it's scratched. The Blu-ray was from England, I believe. They were selling it for, I think it was like, I want to say it was like 11 or $12. And I asked them if they had any wiggle room. So they sent me a thing back for like $5 less. It was like 8 bucks. And then I had the coupon. So I spent like $5 on this. I got the Blu-ray of Tideland, um, which was a pretty good deal. This has not gotten an American release on Blu-ray. I think it's a fun movie, especially if you're into like fairy tales and stuff. I think my wife liked it a little bit because she likes like fairy tale type movies. And uh, Jodell Furland is pretty good. She was in Silent Hill. So this is a strange but fun little movie. I enjoyed this one, so I wanted to upgrade that. Um, I then took my copy of Tideland that was on DVD with the scratches and traded it into a sort of local record shop for a dollar and got this which was $4 originally, but I paid 3 after the trade-in, The Wicker Tree. I had seen this a long time ago and kind of wrote it off after that. I was like, you know what? This movie sucks. It, it's not nearly as good as The Wicker Man, but I wanted to give it another shot. So for $4 and then the dollar off, so $3, I figured it wasn't a bad price. Um, the Wicker Tree is a loose sequel to the original Wicker Man by um, Robin Hardy, the Wicker Man is one of my favorite horror movies, and uh, I don't even mind the Nicolas Cage one. I thought the Nicolas Cage one was pretty good, and the mother from um, The Exorcist and uh, Requiem for a Dream was in that one with Nicolas Cage, Ellen Bernstein. That was good, uh, but this is a, a weird little, like, pseudo-sequel. Um, it really, really gets shit on. It's a little slow, but, you know, the other films are kind of slow, too. Um, the ending is cool, and... The dynamics between the characters is cool. I, I think it's not, you know, it's hard to defeat a classic in The Wicker Man, but I think they did a pretty good job on this on the rewatch, and I enjoyed it more than I remembered. So, you know, if you have a streaming service or something and you can watch it, check it out if you're a fan of the original Wicker Man. Just keep in mind, it's not the same movie. It, it kind of lacks some of that underlying creepiness, but it was still pretty good. Uh, I then picked up the Highway to Hell collection, just because I thought the cover looked interesting. This has Breadcrumbs, Followed Home, Night Drive, Drifter, The Eaves, and Bunny Man. All the movies were, you know, low-budget horror films, some sort of sci-fi kind of stuff or thriller type of stuff thrown in. Um, if you were to ask me what the best films on this, uh, I would probably say breadcrumbs or maybe bunny man which has now gotten like two sequels i think this movie is also called the bunny man massacre and they did like two sequels to it i think 
it was okay. I think I paid five or six dollars for this brand new uh, on Blu-ray, and you know I like these weird little horror packs. So in the future, I look forward to picking up a couple more of these weird packs with a bunch of movies on them. Uh, this arrived in the mail today. Speaking of weird horror packs, this was five dollars. It's the horror six pack with Keepsake, The Ginger Dead Man three, two thirteen Roman, Killjoy three, and Hoboken Hollow, starring uh, Dennis Hopper and Michael Madsen. I, I know of Ginger Dead Man because of Full Moon, and of Killjoy because of Full Moon, but I haven't seen these, you know, third versions of them. So um, yeah, this was five bucks. It was used. It's in good shape. And I just, I like these weird B-movies and underground things, so I figured I'd check that out. The other pack of movies I got was Guys Being Guys. So I logged on to my wife's account, and she had a $5 coupon off where I only had the $3 one. So I picked this up um, for 5 bucks. I think, actually, I think I used her $3 coupon on this. So this was $5 after. It was like $8 minus the 3 uh, it has Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks, which I hadn't seen before. It was a cute film. Porky's, which was pretty fun. I hadn't seen that before either, but I'm a big Revenge of the Nerds fan. Revenge of the Nerds on Blu-ray is like $5. So I figured for $5, and I think it was 50 cents, I may as well get the other two films and check them out. And they were pretty good. I enjoyed them. And finally, I'm in a um, group of uh, people on Facebook I talk about The Room and, you know, the bad movie. And one of the guys was plugging his group on Facebook. I think the guy's name is Ian Webb. He was crubbing, crubbing, plugging his group, which was all about cult movies and underground films. And I went into the group and I said, has anyone seen Penitentiary 1, 2, and 3? I love those movies. And him and I had a chat about it. And he said, I, saw, I got a, he said he saw a poster or something in the area years ago. And it said, Come meet Jamal Fanaka, who did the penitentiary films, and you'll see one of his movies. He was under the impression it was going to be penitentiary one or two or whatever, and he got there, and it was MMA. MMA, I believe, is Jamal Fanaka's first film. Um, so I looked it up, and I found out it was actually in a double pack released by Vinegar Syndrome, who I like a lot, with Jamal Fanaka's other film, Welcome Home, Brother Charles. So these are um, two of his, I think, first forays into film. They're not as like black exploitation-y, or at least MMA isn't as black exploitation-y as let's say Penitentiary one, two, and three. But um, MMA is about a girl who's like a naive girl who's from Watts uh, in California, a bad neighborhood. She comes from the South and she starts getting involved with a drug dealer, and they think she gets pregnant. I haven't seen it yet, but. The reviews are that it's a good movie, it's just slow and more serious than his other forays into cinema. Uh, Welcome Home, Brother Charles looked similar to something like Penitentiary, and from what I've read about reviews, he's a um, guy that was in prison, uh, like sort of beat up and, and railroaded because the cops were racist, gets out of prison and, and wants revenge, and there's some weirdness with him being able to enlarge his member. I don't know why. I don't know what that means. I don't know if he kills people with it. It sounds very strange. But um, yeah, so I'm a Jamal Fanaka fan. I like his weird black exploitation films. Uh, this cost me 10 bucks, And for two movies on Blu-ray, brand new, from Vinegar Syndrome. Well, not from them. I bought it on eBay. But from them, as in released by them, I wanted to check this out. So shout out to Ian Webb for uh, mentioning MMA and me looking at it and realized there was another Jamal Fanaka Blu-ray. I think I own all of his films now. Um, the other one I have is Street Wars on DVD, though. That one didn't get a Blu-ray release. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty large movie haul, considering I've been trying to cut back. But thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know if you've seen any of these, what you think of them, if you think they're trash, <laughs> and... Uh, that's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.